Wow, boys. I'm trying mage, maging Bandos again, and I actually really like it a lot. And we just got Bandos fucking Tacits. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> um, shout out to these guys. They haven't crashed me yet. Sorry, I'm like a little uh, jumbled right now. Um, shout out to these guys for not crashing me. But um, wow, we just got Bandos Tacits. That's our second pair. That's our first big dupe. Um, and, uh, huh, <laughs> I'm at a loss, but, uh, I guess welcome to episode, I think this is the first clip of episode 62 of the Zitut Mag Iron Man series. I wish I was recording, so I could have got a live reaction, but, um, all right. Yeah. Not sure how much more bandos we're going to do, but, uh, that's cool. <laughs> well, uh, here I am a uh, mid bandos trip. Look at that. That was my 10th kill. I'm getting better at, uh, at maging. I actually, I quite like it. Uh, but we just got uh, 97 defense in the middle of a kill, and I was not recording, and I didn't want to pull out OBS in the middle of the kill because I didn't want to die because I didn't want to ruin this trip. But yeah, man, I, I, I really do like this. I don't know how much longer I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it until I get another item, until I get like 200 kill count. I'm not sure, but we're, we're having fun, and we play video games to have fun, and until I stop having fun, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go, baby! Bando's chest plate! Yes, mate! What happened? That's what I wanted the most! Let's go, yo! Oh, man, I hope that the clapping doesn't come up super loud in the mic. Let's fucking go. Here you, here you can see I'm bitching at um, my friend about the fucking annoying-ass people uh, when it comes to Bando's. I, I honestly, I thought these guys outside were going to crash me. Let's fucking go, boys! Bandos chest plate. We now have what? One Bandos chest plate, two Bandos tacits. I mean, boys, I'm gonna keep killing it, I guess, because I need to get the hilt and the boots, you know? Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep prioritizing it like I am now. Um, honestly, I was killing Sire, right? And then I died like twice, and I was like, fuck this. I wanna go back to Maging Bandos, because I actually. I'm getting better at it, I think. I think my best trip was like 19 kills, which is fucking sick. Um, and, you know. I figure once I come back to doing bandos, eventually I'm going to get something that we really need. And we did bandos chest plate. One of my most wanted items on the account. It's so fucking good. And I am so fucking happy. Holy crap. Well, guys, it's safe to say I'm a very happy boy because, uh, you know, got that two seconds ago. But it's time to retire something that I've been using for two three years I don't even know a very long time and that is this fighter torso let me tell you something man this is one of the most important things you can get on an Iron Man because it'll last you forever I'm pretty sure I, I leached this really early on in my account when I was like 70 combat but we finally have a chest upgrade in the bandos chest plate so let me go ahead remove the placeholder Bam, I want to move it next to that because it just looks cooler like that. Yo, I'm so happy. No offense to the fighter torso. Like I said, I just kind of sucked its dick. But having a band, like full bandos, it is just, oh, it's, it is really, really attractive. Okay, this is a sign. Literally the first kill. First kill back at Sire. And we got an unsired. How amazing would it be if... We get a BCP in one Bandos trip, and then we finish off the Abyssal Bludgeon with the first Unsired on the first kill back. If I finish off the Bludgeon, I'm pretty sure I'm done with Sire. I've got the head, I've got the dagger, I've got the jar, and I've got the Bludgeon. I'm not going to camp for the pet because that's just, man, I don't know. I don't like Sire enough to do that, so let's see what we get. Are you serious? <laughs> Bro. Bro. Oh, I'm... Dude, the past, like, hour has been so lucky for me. Holy shit, boys. We just got another pet. What is this? Two pets in two episodes? Right? Yeah, okay. We got this. I wasn't sure if we got the Zora pet last episode or this episode. Dude. 
Let's go, baby. Abyssal Orphan. Fuck yes. Shout out to this guy. Ironic gem. Let's 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 go insure this motherfucker, dude. Shout out to this guy, man. Ah, oh, I don't know how. I I think it's like one in thirty, as far as the drop rate of the Abyssal Orphan from the unsired. So it's not outrageously rare. But if you do the math, you know it's one in hundred for the unsired drop and then one in 30 for the pet from an unsired so it works out to be like one in three thousand which is usually around the average drop rate for most pets from other monsters so it's pretty fucking lucky and i think this was unsired number six uh and you know this task in general i mean this is our third fourth unsired i believe this task because we got two bludgeon pieces the pet and then the head i think so this has been just the string of luck that i've had this episode, I guess, has just been amazing. You know, we got the tacits, we got the chest plate, and now we get this bastard. So let me go ahead and insure him uh, real quick. 500k, absolutely. Now, what are we going to name you? I mean, obviously, a really, really lame one would be like Abby or Abigail. But, you know, actually, give me one second. Okay, I've come up with a name. This is might be a little out of nowhere, but we're going to name this bastard Esther. And the reason being is Esther is the name of the child from the movie Orphan. If you've never seen it, it's a fucked up ass horror film. One of my all time favorites, only because it's so fucked up. If you haven't seen it, I seriously recommend it. But yeah, Esther is, is the I guess, the main character in that movie. I, I don't know. But yeah, Abyssal Orphan, Esther, welcome to the squad yo let's see can we finish off abyssal sire for good i'm excited i'm excited if it doesn't give me the bludgeon piece i would like an abyssal whip i know it sounds crazy but your boy needs them man i haven't gotten another one and i need like my tentacle whip is almost out so i don't want that though i want the last piece i don't remember what the last piece i need is but that's what i want boys let's go <gasps> Oh, yes. All right, let's do it. It's actually funny. The first time I completed a bludgeon, I had no idea how the fuck to make it. Like, I thought you just, like, add it all together. But now nah, I got to speak to this big bastard. And I never have to kill this boss again. So, yeah, that is amazing. I guess I just use it on him, right? Okay, I guess what is this? I got to go through some actual dialogue. What the fuck? Uh, but, yeah, I don't dislike Abyssal Sire, but at the same time... It's not my favorite thing, uh, so I am happy with having it done and over with. I got the pet, I got the jar, I got the head, I got the dagger, and of course we finish off with the bludgeon. 757kc, I want to say it took me, I think we got like 8 unsireds, I think. I kind of want to check. Let's, let's, let's find out and see for ourselves. Yeah, I'm just, I just teleported to Carol. I bet that's the first time somebody's done that to get to a bank at this combat with this total level in the history of runescape if i look at my collection log i should be able to see right i think i have oh fuck i want to say i had eight or maybe seven let's see oh wow it took six so six unsireds to get or no it doesn't account for my okay so it must not account for one of them because it didn't factor in my abyssal dagger so it took me seven unsireds to complete all of the drops for the boss which is uh which is pretty good so we have 46 left uh not gonna cancel it i'm gonna go kill the regular abyssal demons because as i stated previously your boy needs them abyssal whips all right my dudes we are in a celebratory mood going back to konar of course to try and get to hydra tasks once we get everything from hydra i never have to see this bitch again got some cool scrolls Let's open these motherfuckers and cry because the easy loots suck dick. And guess what? The hard ones do as well. Pun intended. Okay. Drakes. Alright, we'll do it. Prayer XP. Alright, first raid in a long ass time. Let's go. Oh man. Feels bad. Oh, please! Oh, man! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. See what can happen. Oh, 
Ooh, arcane prayer scroll. Sucks for this guy because he's a main. <laughs> Rip. This truly has the potential to be the worst birdhouse run of all time. If we get like one nest. Okay. Saved. Are you kidding me? I don't want to kill this boss again, bro. Fuck off. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, this is scuffed. Let's see. We can get the. <laughs> nice. Good luck. Shazy and Scarf and Sarah Page 4. Okay. That's fun. We already have this. So, uh, haha. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Of all the boss tasks, this is the one I get. <laughs> Why? Hey, hey, we love to see that. I think we need eight more, though. So we got a long road ahead of us before we get the upgraded trident. Here I am, finishing the Fremenic Exiles quest, only about three months late. Yeah, uh... This quest kind of came out without me realizing it. It was, you know, at a time where I didn't really play that much. It was like, uh, I think the end of September, and I didn't really play at all from like August through October. Really November, honestly. Uh, but yeah, once I finish this quest, I can now have the access to kill uh, basilisks in order to try and get the uh, basilisk jaw, I believe it's called. Uh, which we can upgrade our Helm of Neitas Knot. Uh, and I believe it is 1 in 5,000 from the Basilisk. Uh, and then I think it's 1 in 1,000 if you're on task. I'm not exactly sure <laughs> how it works when it comes to getting as a Slayer task because I've never ever gotten it from Duradel or from Konar. I would assume that there is like a higher level variant that is assigned once you complete the quest. Uh, yeah, Basilix, nice. So I'm gonna assume that as soon as I completed that quest, the task is now obtainable from Konar. That's what I'm hoping, because I really do not want to go to a lower Slayer Master, because I would like to get the, the face mask. I'm not gonna camp for it, I don't think, because 1 in 5,000 is just... Maybe I should camp for it, because we got really lucky on our other 1 in 5,000 drop, which was the D Warhammer. But as of now, I mean, I, I just wanted to get it knocked out of the way, I think. I wonder what other quests we have left to do. We got them all done now. Huh. Cool. All right, yeah. We can get our... Uh, we can wield our quest cape again. I think. Yeah, baby. Let's show that shit off. Mm-hmm. Totally random. And we are dragging out this video, but I don't really care. I want to give a shout-out to this guy. No BS OSRS. I just looked up a Basilisk Night Guide because I was just curious as to how they work. And I can buy this thing in order to get them as a task. Unlock. Where is it? There it is. Ooh. Fuck that. Give me that. Cool. Oh, well, we're just bullshitting right now. Doing some uh, solo Sarah Domen. And I just got a Sarodomen sword on what is pretty much the last kill of the trip. Just need the... I feel like I need the light and the crossbow. Um, shout out to my man, Mig Bike. He told me I was going to get the uh, ACB after this kill, and I ended up getting a uh, Ceridome and Swords. That's fun. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I checked, and we actually have three in the bank, so we only need six more. That's cool. Yeah, whatever. Just hit 2,000 kill count as well, which is... Another cool little factoid. Pretty sure this is Cerberus. I'm like 95% sure, and I need this smoldering stone, so I am definitely going to be killing that motherfucking three-headed bitch. Well, I'm really salty right now. Uh, you'll see what happens at the end of the video, the reason why I'm salty, but shout out to the rune pouch, that's all I'm going to say. We'll open up some clue scrolls. I should have a fourth hard casket, but... Um, yeah, it was left in the dust. Shout out to Post Malone. Uh, okay. 
Whoa, what? Oh, cool, I got a mimic. I got a mimic casket. That's fun. Yeah, let's do that. Oh man, let's not die. That was easy as fuck. That was easy. People try to tell me I was underprepared. I used like four food. I had a full inventory of Karambwans. And I ate like four food. Let's see what we get. Huh. 500 blood runes. Righty. At least I got a personal best. Nice. So we're slowly starting to chip away. Um, gathering mahogany logs actually for construction. Uh, which I know it's not the most efficient thing. But mainly, I'm going for 90 wood cutting. That, that's my primary goal. Slightly behind that though as far as a goal is is definitely getting the uh, the logs for construction I'm definitely gonna get most of them from miscellaneous though. So don't worry about that uh, yeah. Oh Pegasian crystal How useful Kappa all right there boys. We are coming up on a pretty monumental part of this video because this may be where I ended off 97 Slayer awesome stuff dude it took me so long to get Slayer levels because I have to be when it comes to like getting XP consistently I am the by far most inefficient Slayer in the entire game because I like if I have a chance to do a boss task, 95% of the time I'm going to do it. And it takes me forever to do boss tasks. Like, I can't do a whole day of Cerberus. You know, I can't complete a whole task in one day. Even though it's only like five or six hours, I just can't do it. You know? The monotony of this game, I'm not as good with coping with it as I used to be. Um, anyway, I'm kind of dragging on. Uh, I think I could end the video with the 97 slayer but i think we're actually going to finish off this serb task just in case we get another crystal hopefully we uh we get the smolder stone that's what we're looking for of course all righty let's see what we end off with 100 soul runes whatever uh so that is actually going to do it for episode 62 of the zitut mag old school escape iron man series thank you guys so so much for watching uh this episode did take a decent bit of time i think it took like three or four weeks. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the norm or not, but I like to think there was a decent bit of content in this episode because I got pretty lucky. Uh, we got a pet, we finished the bludgeon, we got some bandos items. So there was a very good chance that I didn't have as much content, but shout out to Jax for giving me some good RNG so I could get some cool stuff in this episode. Um, but before this officially ends, I'm actually going to leave you guys with some uh, pretty interesting things that happened to me uh, during my live stream. I would say that they were good, um, but they definitely weren't good. Not all of them were bad. Okay, yeah, they, they were pretty much bad, but regardless, thanks for watching and enjoy my fails. Mm, what you say? Mm, that you only meant well. Cause you did what you say. Oh man, okay, here's gonna be the goal here. Hopefully we don't get PK'd for our uh, room pouch, because I'm a dumbass and I'm gonna go in the woolly with this thing. Nah. Oh my god, I don't have anything to cut the web with. I'm just gonna keep hopping to like the web that's cut, dude. Oh. Don't you TV me, you fucker. You splash. No! Don't you TV me, you bitch. No. Fuck! Oh, there goes my room pouch, bro. Shit. Oh, no!
Save me! Save me, hurry! Ah, oh, you fucker. Ah, oh, you fucker. You tease. How much is, uh... How much is 15k Lara is? I hope he at least got some. Ah, oh, he didn't get that much money out of it. A little bit, though. 